Santa, Don't Stop Here by Margaret Cohen. Santa was sitting in the kitchen drinking a nice mug of hot chocolate. He didn't have cream or marshmallows today because Mrs Santa said it wasn't good for him at his age. He grumbled, but deep down he knew she was right. He had to keep healthy to deliver presents to all the children around the world. He looked at his to-do list and checked off the items one by one. 1. Read Dear Santa Letters 2. Buy reindeer food 3. Take sleigh for service at 3pm 4. Buy new sat-nav There were lots of things to do before Christmas and he had an extra thing to worry about this year. How could he get all the presents made and delivered safely and be sure nobody got sick? I'll ask Mrs Santa and the elves what they think we should do, he said to himself. All the elves were staying at home and hadn't been to work for weeks. So Santa called everybody up on Boom over the internet for a meeting. What shall we do to get all the presents ready for Christmas, but make sure we don't get sick? He said. The elves were getting bored at home and they really wanted to get back to work. So they all started talking at once. One at a time, please, said Santa, waving frantically at the computer. There was some muttering and mumbling. Then everyone went quiet. Tina, you start, Santa said to the office manager. We need hand sanitizer in all the rooms. I will order some straight away, she replied. Then Ralph from maintenance said, My team and I will clean the toy workshops really well every night and everybody can have a lesson in the proper way to wash hands. Then Noel, the toy designer, said, I can put up screens on all the workbenches. Santa was very pleased with everybody's suggestions and they all went off to get Santa's toy factory working again. Mrs Santa went to her sewing box to find some nice material for face masks and Santa went back to reading the letters he received from children all around the world. His favourite job. Then he opened one letter from a boy in Ireland and he was very surprised to read. Dear Santa, please don't come to my house. Granny lives with us and she is old. You go to lots of houses and you could go in a house where people are sick. I don't want Granny to get sick so I can wait till next year for my presents. Lots of love, Liam. Santa was very upset when he read this. What a kind boy he is, but we must find some way to get his presents to him. Mrs Santa is very wise. I'll ask her. Mrs Santa was busy making the face masks. She put them down for a moment and thought. Hmm, that's true, she said. You go everywhere and into lots of houses around the world. How can we get presents into people's houses without going inside? She gazed out of the window while she had another think. As she was thinking, she saw something whiz past. What was that? she cried. She and Santa rushed to the back door and went outside. In the snowy garden, one of the elf children was flying a drone he got for his birthday. That's it, she shouted. You can use a drone. We can buy a big one on the Amazing Things website and you can use that to drop the presents down the chimneys. But what about the people who don't have chimneys, said Santa. I usually go in the door. Well, we can get some magic shrinking dust and it can fly through the hickey hole. I'm sure you can get that on Amazing Things too. Christmas came and the presents were all ready. The elves had worked a lot of overtime because only ten of them could be in the workshop at the same time. Mrs Santa had bought a large crate of magic shrinking dust, ten packs for the price of nine from Best Price in town. And she had found a very large delivery drone that arrived from China just in time for the young elves to show Santa how to fly it properly. Now everything was packed onto the sleigh. Mrs Santa had made a large pack tea for Santa and put it in his bag with some hand sanitizer and a spare face mask. And she made sure he fitted his mask properly so it wouldn't fall off while he was flying very fast through the night sky. Bye dear, she called as the reindeer galloped across the field and took off into the frosty air. All night Santa flew around the world delivering presents with his new drone. Finally, he came to a house all by itself on the edge of a field. It was the last delivery of the night 
and it was Liam's house. He parked the sleigh on the roof, loaded up the drone with presents. Then he wrote a small note and attached it to one of the legs of the drone. Sprinkled some magic shrinking dust over it and sent it through the keyhole. Come on, boys and girls, let's get back home. Mrs Santa has some hot soup waiting for me, he called to the reindeer. Then he shook the reins and the sleigh took off into the sky, night sky once again. When he came downstairs in the morning, Liam was very surprised to see a lot of parcels under the Christmas tree and a big black thing with four legs. What's that, he said to his mum as she came in with a cup of tea for Granny. I don't know, she said. I thought you asked Santa not to come this year. Shauna, Liam's big sister, came in and said, I know what that is. It's a drone. Megan at school has one. But it's not that big. They went over to look at it and Liam found the note which said, Dear Liam, I didn't come into your house this year. I delivered all the presents by drone. And now I'm finished. I thought you might like to have it. Lots and lots of love, Santa. Liam was grinning from ear to ear. Look, Mum, Santa gave me a drone. Mum looked at the drone and smiled. You're a very lucky boy, Liam. You must write and say thank you. Liam and Shauna opened the other boxes and packets under the tree. There were lovely presents for everybody. There were chocolates, socks, a doll, a remote control car, a build-your-own robot set, and one of those puppies that does somersaults. But they all agreed that even though it had some paint knocked off because it had been all around the world on Christmas Eve, the drone was the best present of all. Shauna and Liam spent the whole morning playing in the garden with the drone. And after dinner, just as it started to snow, they put some of Mum's homemade mince pies on it and sent them to Mr Johnson down the road, who lived on his own. Before he went to bed, Liam wrote another letter to Santa. Dear Santa, thank you for all the presents. The drone is fantastic. Shauna says thank you too, and we hope you have a nice rest after all your hard work. See you next year. Love, Liam. Santa was reading all the thank you letters, and he really smiled when he saw the one from Liam. Then he went to help Mrs Santa pack the bags for their holidays. Where to this year, dear? He said as he put the cases into the sleigh. I think somewhere near home would be a good idea. Let's go to see the polar bears. Santa shook the reins and they flew away into the cool midnight sky. <laughs>